Hi and welcome to Le Studio Marco Primo. Today I am updating my recipe to get VP9 compression and codec when uploading videos on YouTube. For those of you who are here for the audio mastering exercise, you still have a week to submit your master. Then I will make a video to compare all the submissions. Click on the link above or in the description if you want to participate. Now about VP9. What you need to know is that when you upload a video on YouTube, it will be converted in many formats. There's nothing we can do about it. It's just a way the admins decided to deal with this immense amount of data coming in every day. So what they do is they compress your video to make it smaller and take less space on their servers. For big channels with a lot of traffic, their videos will be converted right away using the VP9 codec and compression is the one that gives the best result at giving consistent colors and contrast in any browsers. For a smaller channel like mine, we aren't that fortunate. Our videos will be converted using AVC compression. I'm guessing this is a compression that takes less time to process and less resources on the servers of YouTube. So that's why it's taken by default. Faster and less space sounds good, but it doesn't come without a price. If you want to know if your video is compressed with AVC or VP9, right click on it and choose Stats for Nerds. Different color space aren't all supported equally with AVC compression. What may happen is that your video will look good in a browser, but the colors will be off in another one. Look at the differences between a video compressed with AVC and another one with VP9. Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today we're going to talk about where to start if you plan to record music Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today we're going to talk about where to start if you plan to record music. Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today we're going to talk about where to start if you plan to record music. A few years ago, when I started my YouTube channel, VP9 would come to you automatically after a day or two. Then we had to get wiser and modify the video in the Creator Studio which does not exist anymore, then put things back the way they were, and it would force the servers to recompile your video and then would get the VP9 codec. About a year ago, our video needed to be in Ultra HD or 4K to get VP9. Otherwise, they would stay in AVC. Until recently, the initial format could have been anything like WMV, MP4, AVI, or MOV, and if it was in Ultra HD or 4K, you would get VP9 eventually. Sometime it took a couple of hours, two a day, or a bit more. So the trick was to upload and wait to have the VP9 compression before making the video public. But a few weeks ago, YouTube made a change again. Now in 2021, my recipe goes like this. Export your video from your editing software in Ultra HD, meaning 3840 by 2160 or in 4K, even if the project is in full HD. This is something a lot of people can tell you to do. What's new for me is that a few weeks ago, one of my videos never got VP9. And the only difference was that the format was in MOV, QuickTime format. So from this point on, 
I started to upload in MP4 format exclusively and I got good results ever since. Ultra HD or 4K in MP4, not that complicated after all. If we compare AVC to VP9, the difference regarding colors and contrast will be slimmer if you edit your videos with LT settings. Let me show you what I mean. All right, what I mean by LT levels is uh, not to cross the maximum and minimum uh, and not overpeak either the white parts or the black parts of your image. So if I go up, I would stop there and not go there, you know? So just barely touching. And for the, the blacks, I can go to the shadows and just like this. Of course, this would be the maximum, but often I will leave a, a bit of distance from the zero. You know, there's just one bar before zero, like this. And for the colors, it's the same thing. If we zoom twice, if your colors go over the, the wheel here, um, they might not be uh, replicated correctly. So if, if I boost the saturation, see like this, and if I go overboard, uh, those could be distorted when uh, the compression and the codec is applied. Of course, I'm uh, at twice what it's supposed to be now. So I guess the LC level would be not crossing the squares around uh, this uh, circle. So I hope you will get good result as I do. If you liked this video, please click on the like button, consider subscribing and hit the bell to get notifications. Also feel free to leave comments below and share my videos, it's always a great help. <music>